Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you all enjoyed last week's video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and go click the subscribe button. Um, and also the same for this week's video. Um, but today I'm going to be talking about this little thing that I found in a supermarket. It is called the electronic makeup applicator. I was literally doing some grocery shopping at Aldi and I had like a little makeup session and like the special buys and I saw this, I'm like, oh, I need to try this out, even if it's just for shits and gigs. So if you want to see what I think of this little guy, keep watching. Okay, so this is the Lacura Beauty Stepping Out Electronic Applicator. It says for fast flaws and hygienic makeup application. It says two speeds for wet and dry foundations. It includes three washable latex sponges, two washable flocked applicators, and two AAA batteries. Um, so this is what it looks like. Uh, kind of looks like an egg timer. <laughs> Got a little cover. There's the sponge button. Uh, how to use. Okay, after completing your regular skincare routine, determine the coverage and finish your desire and follow the below recommendations. Okay, so it's got light natural coverage or medium to full coverage. Okay, so I want medium to full, obviously. So this says, for best results before first use, apply a coat of the preferred foundation BB cream onto the latex sponge and allow it to absorb. When ready to apply to your face, add another pump of foundation. Why? And use the slow speed setting. Sweep across the face. Build to desired coverage with another pump of foundation. Set foundation by using the flocked applicator on the high speed setting. Always return the protective cover onto the unit to keep the applicator pads clean and free from dust. So, applicators, setting ones. Interesting. Okay, batteries are in and okay, so one more high powered, nothing. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with my L'Oreal now. It says for full cover to apply, this is so confusing. So you apply one pump and let it absorb how the is that supposed to absorb? This is going to be so gross, but I'm just going to have to smush it in my finger. This is such a waste of foundation. Gross. And then, okay, so that's what it looks like. I don't think this is going to work out. <laughs> do not think this is going to work. Okay, so the first one is for low for wet foundation. It feels like you have a massager on your face. <laughs> it is sending my face to sleep. It's working. Kind of. So now it needs another pump. Wow. Okay, so that's how it absorbs the foundation. You need to have the thing on. <laughs> um, I don't know how I'm supposed to get in here. Okay, if you ever need a face massage. Let's go buy one of these. It wasn't too bad, but yeah, a lot of foundation has been soaked up. A lot. This thing kind of like vibrates it into your like crevices. Oh, an eyelash. So it like fills in the holes. Maybe that's why it's like flawless applicator. 
I think the pressing motion is definitely working better than the sweeping. The sweeping was just kind of moving it around my face. I have used a lot of foundation. Okay, so that is the finish. Yeah, it looks flawless. Um, yeah, I would say that's really flawless. I'm going to try, set it. Okay, it's like a, ew. It's like a, a gooey silicone under there. That is filth. Gross. And then I'm assuming I peel. Okay, so this has a clear film on it. Makes sense. And then you stick that. It was not on straight, but <laughs> stick that on there. Alright, I'm gonna conceal and then I'm gonna come in with the loose powder. Alright, so I have concealed. Um totally just thought I should have tried blending my conceal with that. Probably wouldn't have worked, let's be honest. Alright, so I've got this little guy that is so not on straight. Um it's gonna mush that in then. Alright. Okay, cool. That came up more flawless than I think my beauty blender does it. Even in person, it looks really good. Well, you never know what you're gonna find at Aldi. That was ten dollars, by the way, for anyone in Australia who wants to go get one from Aldi. I would definitely recommend it. Um, I'm gonna go in and finish the rest of my face, and then I'll come back and see what it looks like all together. Okay, so that is the final look. Um, again with the eyebrows. <laughs> um, now my final thoughts on this little egg timer. That's what it looks like. It actually looks like an egg timer. I like it. Um, my foundation came up beautifully. And even with the setting. Like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like it's massaging it into the textures of your skin. I have no idea. But it works, so I'm not complaining. Um, so that is getting a really big thumbs up from me. So if you want this, it is $10 at LD. Just mark it, let's go get it. Um, and it's cool that it comes with different like ones. So for one for setting, one for foundation. And you've got different settings on it for powder foundations and whatnot. So it was pretty good find. I'm pretty happy with it. Did soak up a lot of my foundation, which sucked. It came out beautifully I'm not gonna complain about that um even in person it actually looks like it does on camera and it's pretty good pretty good um so yeah that's getting approved i love it um so i hope you guys liked this video it's a little bit random it was random that i found it in the supermarket hey but you all know how i felt about the Aldi mascara i'm gonna start trying some of that stuff which they have a really good foundation for oily skin. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go give it a thumbs up and go click the subscribe button. And I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye, guys.